We make a marvelous team, you and me, Mr. Jesse. With my brains and your... That didn't come out right. Rent here! So glad to see you back! All cried out from Daddy's funeral. Made peace with the fact that you never told him how much you loved him. Oh, wait. You didn't do any of that because William isn't dead. Instead, you and your band of grade-A chuckle fucks let the leader of America's goddamn vampire hunting agency turn into a goddamn vampire! Mr. Secretary, sir, if it weren't for Director Rentier, we never would have found Felicity and... Isn't that just fuckity great? Then I can assume you've got her severed head hidden behind your wiry dead ferret of a frame. Secretary Harrow. Dr. Blackwell, I can't believe I'm saying this. But as of right now, you are the fucking director of the soon-to-be-renamed Rentier Institute, with all the perks and privileges entitled therein. But for now, I want you to lock these sons of bitches up for high treason. And after that, you're gonna squeeze every bit of vital information out of the tick that's currently inhabiting the carcass of William Rentier. And once you're done, apply your own damn protocols and put a bullet in its head like you should have done days ago! Are you having some sort of female moment? I fucking want this fucking done right fucking now! Would you allow me to present a counterproposal? You leave Calico right now and never come back, you lying, sweaty, lecherous, potty-mouthed, flatulent, ugly mustache creep! You ungrateful swine! You sure you want to dance that dance? President Cleveland will know all about this right here. We're having dinner after a sweet-ass musical premiere none of you were invited to because you don't matter! Jesus, I thought I'd shit myself. Amelia, that was... potty mouth? I'm about 90% adrenaline right now, Jesse, so maybe you save your critiques for when my legs stop shaking. Right now, you should go see your father. You gotta keep your guard up, Lou. Don't drop your dukes. Yeah, but keep your elbows in. Gotta protect that breadbasket. <laughs> I, I think I got it, sir. Thanks. <sighs> uh, 
As you can see, the region compound appears to have some unexpected positive side effects. You know, I'm not the most attentive son, but I could have sworn your leg. Ha! I feel 20 years younger, Jesse. Get the Panzer wagon ready. You and I are gonna find Felicity, just like the old days. Let's just wait and see how this thing with Harrow is gonna land. Harold, pa! That two-bit tyrant could command his way out of an Oklahoma outhouse. Yeah. We sure he's all right? Well, from a purely virological standpoint, he should have turned days ago. If we're seeing nothing by now, I guess compound works. I can hear you, you know. Oh, better than ever. Goodness, you sound like Gravener with all your silly worrying. Where the hell is Edgar? When he thought you were dead, Edgar went on something of a revenge ride. He tracked down Chester Morgan, thinking that chatterbox might have some insight on Felicity's whereabouts. I knew that rat son of a bitch was too slippery to croak it. According to our sources, nowadays he dabbles in arms trafficking. Got himself a hideout in the mountains. Edgar snuck into the hills with a box of dynamite. If Gravener wants to get himself killed, let him have at it. This freeze is up for the matter at hand. Like hell it does. Whew, Edgar doesn't mess around. Shit, they're scattered everywhere. And then it all went down the shitter. I'm tired of putting my neck on the line for them. I barely made it out of that gathering alive thanks to those piss-drinking rentiers and their crusade. But fuck them, fuck the Bano, and fuck his devious brat. I'm out. Gotta stay low for a while and take care of myself for a change. Here come Chester's boys. Another Ranger!
believe I gotta get all the way down there.
Maybe I can clear this with a bag. Yet another mine. Need to find a way up. Man out. Now, where are you hiding, Chester boy?
you kidding me? Guess who's got his hands on the biggest stash of guns and ammo since the Civil War? Yes, me. I wonder why I didn't jump into the most American business there is earlier. Especially when the clouds of an all-out war started gathering over our heads. Someone will profit from it, no doubt. Why shouldn't that someone be me? Yours truly, Chester, the weaponry Caesar. carriage is still intact. Let's see where it went. Edgar's been here, no doubt.
That sounds like Edgar. Gotta open it first. What a waste of perfectly good explosives. Next time you go and die like that, you better stay dead. Noted. Damn you, Jess. Your horseplay's gonna get me killed one day. <laughs> Since you hauled your ass all the way down here, how about you make yourself useful? Okay. Subtle, Chester boy. No one could spot that. Hungry. Can you hurry the hell up?
So you reckon Chester knows where Felicity is? Well, let's ask him.
such as a wine! What is wrong with you? Sorry, Chester, force of habit. What did you want to tell us? I assume you know about the bats carrying the blood of the ancient beasts. Yeah, like the leeches weren't enough. We need a where, Jester. After the Banos' demise, Andalusia invested in a forlorn train manufacturer, uh, Persephone, uh, located in a secluded area in the middle of nowhere. Perfect breeding grounds for her fluffy little biological bombs. She wants to use those trains to infect the whole country. And she's just rich enough to pull it off. All the money transfers, they come from a bank in Carmine. That's our headquarters. Oh, but, my, but my sources tell me she's using those resources to set up her endgame. Which is? Destabilization. Chaos. She's headed for DC. The capital. Jesus, that little brat is ambitious. For a street rat. Dabano. Dabano picked her ass up out of the gutter, gave her a new name and a new cause, and now she thinks she's queen shit. She's building a fucking army. Why do you even care, Chester? War is good for business, ain't it? She's gone plum crazy. Making it making it that much harder for all those simple sanguisuit folk. Turning all those blood bags. Pulling that stunt on your father. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about my father, Chess. Loque de la vida. You want some? You what? Please tell me you didn't use the orchid. It doesn't cure a damn thing. It may keep it down for a little, but but it always comes back with a vengeance. Bullshit. I saw it with my own eyes. It works. You saw what you wanted to see. <laughs> but it's gonna happen. All it takes is a drop of blood.